bonus video. What's going on guys? Cliff and Denny here from uh, On Your Own Outdoors. Hey, so um, by the time y'all see this, I will have just landed in Florida uh, a day ago or two days ago, something like that. And I will be uh, hopefully trying to, trying to kill it here. So anyways, what this is, this is a bonus video. Um, me and the wife was talking about it and I thought about something that, that I think would be cool and that is all you guys that travel and hunt. So whether that be traveling across the state to go hunt some public land, going to hunt your lease that's a ways away, I'm going to go ahead and drop a video in here on what I keep all my hunting gear in, how I store all my hunting gear, and how I get ready to be as scent free as possible. Now, I personally don't believe that you can completely beat them, but I'm going to tell you I take every advantage I can in the woods to try to. So <clears throat> that's going to start with how I prepare, how I do my laundry, how I get the washer and dryer set up, because as everybody knows, you know, I live with a house full of women as well, just like everybody else. Um, and they like all that scenty, scenty, nice smelling stuff. The other thing is, is camo dust. Can't go anywhere without it. You can guarantee that uh, <laughs> by now, hopefully while y'all watching this video, I'm over there looking like, a, like I'm baking some cookies and getting all dusted down. So stick with me. Um, here in the next few minutes, we're gonna run through what I do. Good hunting, let's go. All right guys, so where we're gonna start at is right here. I don't know how big this toad is. Let's see. Uh, probably three foot long. All right, so what this is, is just a $25 tote from Walmart. As you can tell, the last time, last time I used this was during turkey season, so I've got all my turkey hunting stuff in it, so we're gonna have to get this thing out, get it cleaned out. So, what do I do with my tote? So first things first, what I do is, is once I get all this junk out of here, I'm gonna take some dead downwind sit away wipes, wipe it out really, really good. Um, I usually leave it airing out, like I said, so actually today is Monday, and I fly out Wednesday morning. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and wipe this down today, and get it all dusted up real nice, and then I'll move on to the next part. Next part, so let's go. We got this dude wiped down, it's all cleaned out, box is ready to go next so basically you're just de-womaning all your stuff next part Ooh, toads this is what i prefer to use laundry detergent it's the copper tone um scent crusher you can get it at bass pro shop uh, it's what I use. So I'm like 99% sure it was upwind at one point in time. Maybe not. I don't know. It smells the same. Looks the same. <laughs> Doesn't smell at all. No, I'm not real sure. Uh, looks the same. It's got the same ingredients in it. And that, uh, that upwind stuff was pretty solid. All right, so what I do? Come to the laundry room. Empty it out. Make your wife mad. Put it in a basket somewhere. Deal with that stuff later. All right, so if you don't have a little tray, just use your average amount. I didn't pre-party to this. I pour mine straight in there. Why? Because that's where we put our detergent at. So, close that dude up. Oh, it's ready to go. Crank it up. Turn your little dial knob. You can see that. Boop, 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 boop. Heavy duty. Go live. All right, so what I will do is I will run that three cycles. Not one cycle, not two cycles, but three cycles. And on the third cycle, um, I go ahead and throw in like a towel or something like that. Something that's going to, you know, if it's got any scent to it, it's going to kind of cling to it a little bit. Um, also, cool. Got to make her more mad. I told her I was doing this today. This is not my fault. So, sometimes you have to make sacrifices. You gotta be prepared. On the dryer part, make sure you do this. Empty out your lint thing, number one, causes house fires, number two, because it holds scent. So, pop that little guy right there up.
Here we go. For the dryer sheets, I do something a little bit different. As you can tell, last pro shop. Had to go get ready. It's hot. Oh, that's extremely important. As you can tell, also like that scent crusher. So, I'm still a big fan of camo dust. But when it's hot, early season, I like to spritz, 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 then dust. Only reason it kind of cools me down whenever I first get to the stand, kind of drop that core body temp so you're not sweating as bad once you get there. Once you stop sweating, you usually don't sweat as bad. If you just keep on, keep on, keep it on, it gets nasty. So, third step, you cleaned your tote. You need to make sure it's got a locking lid on it. Tote is clean. We've got this guy on heavy wash. Did down my dryer sheets. Drop some in there. Around here. Turn it on. I do it on normal. Crank it up. So that's gonna take up a few minutes in this first part. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna let this run. Um, it's gotta run for like three hours. So at the end of that, we'll come back. I'll run a load of laundry. Then I'll get back with y'all and show you how I pack all my stuff to get on a plane. So there we go. So I'm kind of skipping around here. I know it's crazy. All right, next step. Get everything that you wanna take and lay it down on the floor. Again, wife's not gonna be happy about it. Sometimes it's something you gotta deal with. So. One thing that uh, myself and one of the guys talked about last year, uh, big Chris Hill, good buddy of mine, hell of a deer hunter, uh, even a better goose hunter. So anyways, uh, me and big Chris last year was talking about scent control, this, that, and the third while we was down there hunting. So one of the big things that we got to talking about is something that get, I personally think is the smelling that people don't think about. And uh, I know that he was one of those, was like, ah, oh, shit, I never think about that. Boom, backpacks, backpack, backpacks. So whether it's on your back or it's on a stand, doesn't matter. What's my hand doing right now? It's touching it. What's it do? It gets oils on it. If I've been, you know, touching something in the truck, whatever, man, whenever I strap it down, could get stinky. <coughs> out of my whole hunting setup before this trip, because now I'm gonna use the saddle, out of my whole hunting setup, there is more fabric on this than there is on anything else. So I keep my stuff packed up year round um, just because I don't like to lose shit and I will most certainly lose some stuff. So, come over on this side. The only thing that wasn't in there is my quick release. And while I was just thinking about it right now, I'm going to go ahead and fix that problem. So, boom. Get you a table. Take all your stuff out of your bag. Lay it on the table. Out of the bag. On the table. Out of the bag. On the table. Why? Helps you keep up with your stuff. So, I've got a couple tree hangers in here. Or a couple bow hangers in here. One for my bag, one for my bow. What's next? Camo dust. The field spray. Like I said, I like that stuff. If it's hot outside, I'll spray down with it before I dust down. Um, and it most certainly helps you cool down that or cool down that core temp. So next, I've got doubles of everything. Two different flashlights. Two range finders. Why do I carry two range finders? You say? Well, back in 2018, was hunting a big nine point. Just so happened it snowed one day that year during deer season. Um, it was like first week of January. Anyways, sent a stand, range, ah, nothing. Range finder went, went bad on me. I changed the batteries the day before, went back, come to find out, had was missing a little screw in there. Um, anyways, so now, carry dose of them. They don't weigh a whole bunch, super easy. So I carry two of them, one ever goes out, I have a backup plan. Next thing, and a bind paper. Always make sure you have it. There's a story behind the Ziploc bags. I don't like to climb down. And then, a little pocket rocket. Everybody uses whatever knife they want to, but I can promise you, deboning deer in the woods, gets a little, it gets the job done, super sharp. So, as I said, get all your camouflage, lay it on the floor. Washer and dryers on round two. After round three, I will throw this stuff in there, get it all washed up, 
and then we'll go to packing our stuff up. All right, so first off, I'm gonna tell you, uh, make a checklist before you start this. Um, I have one, it's in my notes on my phone, so it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> here's the dryer going off down. So now we're gonna go through the way that I pack my tote, just to start out here, and then we'll, every time something gets done in the washer and dryer, we'll add to it. So, first couple of things I've already got ready that I know already. So, things I've already got in there, throwing stuff. Sticks. Camera arm. Hot platform. Alright. So now, I have a base layer. So what I'll do now, as as I get these clothes washed, I will take, lay a layer of clothes. You'd be super surprised. All these little areas that are in here, you can fill them with your socks and your uh, drawers, for lack of a better term, to cut down on the weight, the clanking and clanging and all that kind of stuff. I mean, not weight, <laughs> cut down on the weight. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about that hawk. Uh, you know, it doesn't weigh anything. Um, anyways, no, you can shove your, you shove your socks, that kind of stuff, t-shirts all that in between all that gear and it will um, it'll help keep it from jostling around as bad um, and then I'll lay a layer lay my bow my arrows that kind of stuff lay another layer um, of clothes on top of it so it keeps all my stuff from getting all jarred up so bad so we'll go step by step well it's definitely later now but ran the washer and the dryer on three cycles again I do all of my clothes, all of them, my daytime clothes, my nighttime clothes, <laughs> gonna be on the airplane clothes, whatever, because I pack all of them together. So make sure you don't make that mistake of, oh, well, I'm just gonna do my camo and then you throw a whole bunch of your night shirts on top of it. It's pointless. Let's go, dude. All the clothes and like I said don't forget that hunting pack it's extremely important walk back in here check it out check it out check it out I don't see anything else oh you want a sneak peek or something so the wife can control a lot of stuff but oh, oh. <laughs> big old bags of camo dust over there so, just like last time, let's see if we can get this set up over here. So look, we'll read this thing. Ah, nah. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to fill this thing up once. But uh, just like with the regular detergent, I don't think I got time. I don't think I got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Just dump it and let it go. Sorry, TV. I hit it on that. Hit the heavy duty. Let that run. I'm going to go get an ink pen and a note. Stick it on this. So don't touch it. So what I'll do is I'll let this run tonight. Tomorrow morning, whenever I get up, I'll swap it over here to the dryer and let it run in there as well. So don't forget... The key to washing your stuff, three loads before you wash your load. Um, and then whenever you wash it, you'll see tomorrow, as soon as I grab it, <laughs> my wife's got some of those little incense around the house, I will 110% grab my stuff, run to the den with it, throw it down on the ground. I'm gonna show you guys how I roll everything, keep it small, keep it tight, um, take up less space in my box. And then uh, I'll show you tomorrow. I'm gonna, this is a new box, so, I'm gonna take it to work, drill some holes on the top of it. So I'm put some um, locks in there for the airport. So um, yeah, we'll show you this stuff tomorrow, but in a little while we'll be back. 
swap this stuff over the dryer, and then we'll do the packing tomorrow, and then hunting we go. Alright, so now I ran the washer and dryer three times, and then I, uh, I washed the clothes three times. So now what I'm going to do, stop it, is I'm going to pack. So everybody's got their own way of doing things, but to make things smaller, as well as to take up uh, all the extra space in between gear. So fold it over, and then uh, I roll everything. So then it comes out, and these little dudes kind of look like this. You can go through and stick it in your box between all of your metal items. Uh, just so they're not clanging, tanging, beating around, and it kind of acts as like a stuffing inside of your inside of your hunting stuff to kind of help take up space. So, anyways, it's just a filler. It helps it helps you take care of your stuff. So, anyhow, I'm going to continue to keep rolling, and then uh, once I'm done. We'll come back on here and I'll show you um, what it actually looks at at the end. So I've got all my gear laid out. Bo, please stop for a second. I've got all my gear laid out. I've got my box. I've got my camera arm, my climbing sticks, um, three packs of broad heads, camera gear, um, Tacticam, all that stuff in here. So anyways, I'm going to keep doing this, get it all packed in there real good, and then I'll show you an end product. All right. So... Now, we got everything packed. So what I do now is uh, take my camera gear and I find me a soft spot. Sometimes I unroll some stuff, two or three different items, tuck it in there nice and tight, cords, and then I take my hunting pack, set over the top of it. Right, this stuff down here at the end and what I have is about another half a load of clothes once they're done I'll stuff it all in here um, I've got a blanket that I usually kind of carry everywhere with me right wrong or indifferent because you never know what kind of situation you're going to be in and uh, and anyways I take that blanket and I use it as a stuffer for the rest of the box it really seems to help out but anyways the big deal out of this is wash your clothes three times or wash your run the water in your washer three times Run your dryer sheets in there three times. I prefer to do my clothes three times the first wash too. I know three, 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 right? Um, but it's because it's easy to remember. Um, and then whenever you're packing everything, it's taken me, you know, about 10 minutes to pack this. I'm fixing to go get some camo dust, dust the piss out of it, lock it down, zip tie it up, and it'll be ready to go on a flight tomorrow. So anyways, again, by the time y'all see this, hopefully I'll be in a tree somewhere. So good hunting, and we'll see y'all from a tree.